and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some fearsome mid-range. It's been a while since we've played this deck and that's kind of what I'm going with today. We're going with um, some decks that, that we haven't played in a while um, and giving them a try again. So this is fearsome mid-range. This deck used to be pretty popular a few weeks ago. It has seen a whole lot of uh, cards get nerfed. But I want to see if it's still good enough, even with all those cards getting nerfed. But yeah, like Mark of the Isles, um, Black Spear got nerfed, uh, Wraith Caller got nerfed. That used to have Fearsome also. And then, of course, the top end cards, Hecarim, Rekindler, Rasa, and Ledros, those all got uh, nerfed. But I still want to give it a, give it another shot because I think it could be pretty good. Like there are a lot of uh, like spiders in the metagame, like so small creatures. So maybe having Fearsome creatures is a good way to um, kind of go over them and, and not let them block. Um, but then, of course, I think uh, Hecarim is still good. Like, so I think Hecarim is still a, a, just a, a fine way to win the game. And, you know, Hecarim were through Rekindler backup. We talked about Rasa yesterday. Uh, Rasa looked really good in some games yesterday. And I think it's still probably a card that people aren't playing around. Um, and Ledros to finish games out, too. You know, these Shadow Owl cards are just really good at closing out long games. And there's a lot of long games um, in the current format with the the speed of the format kind of slowed down. So let's let's give this a shot. Let's let's run back Fearsome Midrange. We're going to go play five games. Because we need to... I guess I was on the edit, edit part. Here we go. Ranked. Let's see. That works. Let's, let's get it going. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking that the 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 fearsome part could be pretty good in this metagame. Yeah, and Ledros, and yeah, so I think this could be a pretty a pretty good deck that people, you know, pretty good throwback that maybe you know that uh, people won't be expecting as much. Yeah, Jury Rig is even a card that everybody's playing right now. <clears throat> Alright, so the Get Excited's gone. And then Glimpse Beyond... Mm, not sure what I want to do with Glimpse Beyond. I think I mulligan it. It's good against removal spells. You know, it's good at... you know, if They use a removal spell on your thing, you sack it, draw two. Where are you? Yeah, see? Small creatures. I must get out of here. We need some fearsome. Oh, that would have been a great time to draw a lease. We'll take the Arachnidor. Winter, take you! Ouch. Well, we'll have Vile Feast for this thing. That egg, did it move? Um. But which one of these two do we play? Do I kill this thing or play Skitter? If I play Skitter, the next turn I'm going to be Vile Feasting this. I actually Vile Feast this. Okay, you've been loving Ash right now? Nice. Um, playing Ash with like the, the normal Frostbite midrange that we've been playing? Or are you doing anything different with Ash? Hey, Voodoo. Okay, the Ash Harrowing deck. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good that's a good deck, too. Uh, this is Legends of Runeterra. If that's the question. What 
I'm not sure what the LTD question is. Oh, oh no, this is, no, we're playing Constructed. These are the decks over here that we're playing. No, we're, we're in Masters ranked. This is Fearsome mid-range that we're playing right now. Um... Do I sack or get two damage on the Thresh? I'm gonna sacrifice and look for like Hecarim to play next turn. All right, well, there's Hecarim to play. Elise wouldn't have been bad either, but I like I like like playing Elise on. Play it on, on their turn, have it uh, level up on their turn, and then untap and attack right away with the... Where are you? Um, Very good. I guess this is probably going to level up their Thresh, isn't it? If I just attack out, their Thresh is leveling up. Hmm, that could be bad for me. That could be really bad for me if their Thresh just levels up. Then it's attacking and putting in Trindamir. Um, I don't want to rely on one on them blocking with Thresh, so I I probably should have just played Elise. Okay, that's good because now I can pair Mark of the Isles and Mystic Shot to kill the Thresh, so that's good. Um We weren't going to really be able to flip the Elise <clears throat> with our other spider dying. Yeah, but I don't want to make that attack with Hecarim, and then if they block, Thresh blocks Hecarim, then I get to Mark. I don't, I don't want to rely on that. Ugh. Another Thresh. That's not good. Kill the two weakest enemies. Dang. I, I need to block these things more. Before. Both ephemerals that Hecarim makes will die to 
count towards uh, creatures with thrash or for thrash if I attack with it. One candle for every soul. I know what lurks in the shadows. Dude, thresh is so good. Basically, Thresh and Thresh putting in Trindamir. Um, that is. I must get out of here. That is something I certainly have to worry about. gonna be really tough to pull this off if I if I block all three of these things and kill all three then this transforms and then that's a um, yeah I mean then that transforms or levels up or whatever so they both level up uh, this is difficult <laughs> All right, well, we got one thrush out of here. Nothing escapes my watch. To get one thrush out of here. Do I just let him have the other? Th just let him level up the other thrush and just attack out? Could be the way to go, probably. These hapless aristocrats are really putting a damper on my Rosses and putting a damper on the whole, so Thresh is going to level up. So this thing's going to be a 4-5, basically. That's all they're blocking? Okay, that makes more sense. You have to get me out of here. That doesn't make sense. Please, I think it's I have connections. overwhelm. I mean, I'm guessing they have grasp. They want, yeah. I'm guessing they have grasp for this. Um, and then uh, we sacrifice this. So they don't gain the life. So close, they're at four. We have to get excited, so close. But they're at four. Alright, well if I play La Rasa... All we do is kill the two spiders. Um... I think I have to do. I think I have to get excited. The Thresh, so Thresh doesn't put in another Trindamir. because they'll just go straight to attacks and attack with the, like the two th Trindamirs. Um, I'm not sure which one of these I'm discarding though. And then I think I just have to just play a Rasa and kill these two. And 
And then I'm going to discard Rekindler. No, because I can't play Rasa and Skitter. So we'll just discard the Skitter. So I can kind of choose which one of these two I want to play. Uh, we have a least dead right now, so uh, Rekindler gets back a lease right now. I didn't quite die. Or no, I did die. Oh man. That was not a good block. I thought I thought it would have just stayed alive if they had another Trindomir in hand that would have been a, a battle fury, but no, we would have we would have taken lethal. So that was not a good block. I thought I thought I was just gonna stay alive for that. Oops, I did that, that math wrong there. I don't know why I was adding up that it was going to be 12 damage and we were at 13, but would have been, or whatever. Yeah, you know, I was, yeah, I miscounted there. Yeah, never punished. Yeah, that, that would have been a sad way to lose this game. For sure. Um, I'll just go straight to combat. We don't really need to play this other stuff yet. Uh, Ledros would be nice. Deal two damage, but... All right. There we go. Starting the day off with a win. Even though our first Rasa only killed a couple little um, one ones, it helped set up the second Rasa kill a, a Trindomir. That's pretty important. That's for sure pretty important. All right. So, want to know? Harm as we keep our two drop, three drop, replace those. Get them, spiders. All right, so what are they going to play to punish me for playing Skitterer? They could have, like, the 4-3, I guess. I don't even think their deck plays the 4-3. So, yeah, like, they were going to be able to Mystic Shot anyway. So Mark would have dealt six damage. Probably should have thought about Mark more than I did. Ooh, 
We'd like to find our champions. Help these rekindlers bring stuff back. We need some champions. Four damage. All right, we'll mark this one. Last one was going to be the same amount. It's going to be uh, six damage as well. We'll get it in this time. So that's 13. That would put them down to four. I have the mystic shot. So all we have to do is draw another mystic shot or get excited. Hecarim would be our best draw. Hecarim. Hecarim. No. Hecarim right here on this, this six mana turn would have been great. One shot, all skill. Gotcha. Alright, well they will need instant speed removal for the skitter. They can't block skitter. We can go straight to combat and attack. So they don't have an instant speed removal spell for Skitter right now. I guess they could also have Deny. Well, I could Mystic Shot right now to keep Deny from available, but I don't want to do that. I would like to attack first. Okay. So now all I have to do is wait for them to tap under Deny mana. So all they have to do is, once they spend less than four mana... Return to us. And all the meanwhile, we'll put more pressure on him. I guess I am going to go ahead and just Thermogenic Beam the Ezreal. Nope, never mind. We'll just kill him. Alright, GG's. 2-0. Oh. oh no! I forgot about that card. Alright, never mind. Not GG's. Game's not over. No! I forgot about that card. I hope we don't lose now. That would be a big bummer. Such naivete. I don't get to Rasa. Kill Rasa. We're going to draw a champion, maybe? Nope. Um, I'm not sure if I just throw out this Rekindler or not. We each died, then found hope. Dang. Oh, I thought this game was over. 
Not so much okay. anymore. Join the conflagration. Body time. Yeah, I know, we should have used Get Excited, not Mystic Shot. So, you know, I played the Black Spear first, kind of hoping they would play something else. Like, if they, ha if they had, like, a Karma, they wanted to play a Karma. Um... Man, they played around Rasa perfectly. I guess they didn't want to pick up their creature, I guess. They don't want to pick up the Yone. Dang. Man, I, I don't think we are going to win this at all now. That went... This game went horribly for us. Wow, this game went horribly for us. Like, I wish I just didn't even glimpse beyond... I guess if I, if I don't glimpse beyond, they would just deny the Rasa trigger. Ugh. I've used both the rekindlers already. It didn't do much. With Karma in play, they can use just a three mana or a three damage burn spell to kill Hecarim. My good news is they they just have two cards. That's that's my good news right now. Come on, Hecarim, get him this time. Nope, not this time. to mark to do six damage. Or do I want to save mark where Hecarim could do a lot more? Hey, Rex. Oh, 
good, I surprised myself. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Not sure what I wanted them to draw, but that's definitely not it. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. <laughs> Insane. Come closer. I don't bite. Yeah, I mean, that's just lethal. Ugh. Yeah. Really didn't think we were losing that game, and then just all sorts of terrible things happened. I thought I thought that game was over. I thought we won that. That was a sad game. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we'll just take this. This isn't, like, like this is a decent hand. Um, yeah, I think this is definitely a keeper. Um, you know, if they have, like, turn three, six mana card, which is what they're going to be trying to have. I'm not sure how this specifically lines up against... You know, a, a turn three, five, five. We'll go with the Mist Wraith since I'm going to be playing the Wraith Caller on turn four also, so we can get the second Mist Wraith out. Um, that's fine. That means they're not having the five, five next turn. Yeah, it was a real close game for sure. The last one. Disappointing how it ended. As it be. Um. The skitter uses the mana better, but I guess maybe there's a... Maybe I should play the horror because then we'll still have Vile Feast available as well. Down to 17. Answers. I have them. This is probably bad. This is probably bad. Yeah, oh man. So they had removal on turn two. And then turn four got to play two two drops and save the three mana from turn three so they could have Heimerdinger five with Flash of Brilliance. It's perfect. The real question will be if we want to go straight to attacks or if we want to play Hecarim first. Hecarim is so good that we probably just want to play Hecarim first, right? I think so.
they can like, <clears throat> you know, they can do a, a progress day burst speed and then play an 8-8. Eight eight. Uh, one thing they could do, uh, but we'd still get a couple extra 2-2s two attacking. If they use like a thermogenic beam to kill, you know, or some removal spell to kill Hecarim, or if they just even play a Remembrance and get the five drop while they would make another turret, they wouldn't be able to play that turret till post combat. Alright, so they did have Progress Day, which was the, the worst case scenario for us, was the 8 mana 8 8 draw 3. Um, but. We get 12 damage in. That's a lot of damage. We'll see if we can get this last five in. It's going to be tough, though, because they're going to be able to make a lot of turrets. Okay. Okay. That's two out of the five damage, or that kills Hecarim. We could choose whichever one we want. We could see going either way. Killing Hecarim makes it a lot easier for other things to get the damage in. I only have... I have two Get excited in the deck. So it's not super likely if we... have the two mana try to... kill them. I don't really want to try to Mystic Shot Heimerdinger and then they use a, a barrier or... Like, you know, Prismatic Barrier on Heimerdinger and then get a 3-1. Like, that would be... That would not be ideal. That would not be ideal at all. Justice. I don't understand this T-Hex attack. Unless they have like a life... A lifesteal thing. I think my goal is to use these four fearsome creatures and try to have one of them hit if just any of them connects and then try to use mystic shot that's my goal right now none of them are going to connect gosh i'm reading her so close to
All right, well, it's attack time. Anticipated outcome. You look guilty. I will hold the line. Yeah, Heimerdinger is pretty great. I think Heimerdinger... I think people are underrating Heimerdinger right now. Everybody's all about Ezreal, but I think Heimerdinger does a good job of outgrinding Ezreal. We're going to be trying that in a little bit. Like, we're playing this deck um, in two decks here, Mage Seeker Lux. Like, we're going to be we're gonna be trying this. Ourself. Our opponent really is slow and steady, aren't they? You know, we're like celebrating. We got Heimerdinger off the battlefield. They have seven cards in hand. <laughs> seven cards still. We use so many resources to get rid of so many free cards. That's what Heimerdinger does, and now they just have another one. GG's. This one I never really felt like we had too much, yeah, as much of a chance, but the... Losing that last game. That last game was a killer. That definitely felt like the one that we should have had. Yeah, I mean... Turn 5, they had Heimerdinger with... Um, uh, I am, like, blanking on card names today. I am. Uh, we can do this. Uh, Heimerdinger with a 3-mana free spell. They had those two cards, and they were at 17 life. I just lets you know that we weren't winning. We got to play a lot of stuff before that too. Flash of brilliance. I'm doing good. Yeah, I got up and uh, mowed, I mowed my uh, mowed my yard for the first time. You know, the new house, the new lawnmower works pretty well. It's just a little electric one because I just have you know have a small yard. I did not play this spider because I kept it in hand in case we would draw get excited. I need a card to discard to get excited. You know, and so I could have that with Mystic Shot. So I did not. I'll protect you. I've been I did not discard. Or I did not play that. All the stuff costs zero? That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Come on, get excited. Get excited. Oh, another missing shot. Obviously, I'm not playing anything because they just have the final spark. Is this going to kill me now, though? 5, 10, 14, 16. They have 16 points of damage. I am at 16. So that's not good. We're going to have to use a Mystic Shot here to stay alive. Hey, Hada. So 
so close. We were one point off of double burn spell to face. We were one point off of having two mystic shots. And they were at five. So close. So close. Do you think this game needs a way to stop summons? No, I don't think so. I, I think it's it's designed very well. I don't think there's anything they need to change about it. Well, I love having turn two Elise. Um, I don't think I really want any of these other cards. Thanks, Hada. What's that noise? Thank you. Hope you're doing good too. I must get out of here. Come closer. I don't bite. All right, going wide with small creatures. So if I play the Arachnid Horror, we'll be able to transform Elise, or we'll be able to level up Elise uh, this next turn. I don't get to block. Definitely hurts not being able to block. Let's be down to seven. Maybe I should have just had at least block the. Bowcaster, or the, uh, yeah, the Bowcaster. <clears throat> Maybe I should have just blocked there. Okay. Got to control this battlefield. Um, don't love the hands. We may discard Rasa to get excited, because it does seem like Rasa's forever away from being cast. Um, I think we can let them... Have the one one. Well, this got a lot worse all of a sudden. We can use the black spear right now while we can. going good. This is not going good at all. Drew just a whole bunch of really awkward cards. Very 
fairly awkward cards. All right, one and three. This is all just down so far downhill after that that second game that I really thought we were winning. I was barking it over in the win column. I thought that game was over, but they had you know the one mana health potion to just barely keep them alive, and then start then had another big life gain spell with deny backup, and, and then we ended up losing. It's just been real far downhill since then. Yeah, and our, our last two opponents have both had very, very good hands. <clears throat> the time reading opponent had a great hand also, and so was that. Ours are just so awkward. I like leading with the 3-2... Um, cause I think, I think the third point of power is pretty important for this matchup. Things like Warchefs, Fiora, all the, the, all that kind of stuff. Getting that extra power in there. Um. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. Protégé is awkward. Turn that thing into a 2-5. So if they want to if they want to have protege kill my arachnid horror, then we get to have our skitter kill their warships. So yeah, they're probably just not gonna be attacking. We can get another six points in. Put them down to eleven. Definitely wish I had one more mana and I could play Horror and Elise still and try to flip Elise and try to keep these spiders alive. But that's not... Not looking like it's going to be the case. We'll use Glimpse Beyond on something. No one goes hungry! Yeah, that didn't seem like the most ideal attack placement for them. You know, Warshafting the the Fiora that was already already had a barrier, and there was no difference between Fiora being a three three or a four four when it's fighting a four three. So that was a waste of a Warshafts, but I couldn't really punish them. Um, all right. So if I play Hecarim and attack with Hecarim, what's that doing for me? Not sure. I think we'll see. I think on, on their turn, I want to try to play Horror, Elise, Vile Feast, and maybe get three spiders to go along with Elise with the Arachnid Horror, and then my next turn be able to have a leveled up Elise that I get to attack with. That's my that's my goal. 
which therefore Use two cards to kill Hecarim. I've got your back. Feel the sizzle. I will put you down. Oh, go. No, not my spider. Darn. Yeah, I'm playing. I'm playing this game instead. Legends of Runeterra. I, I uh, just enjoy this game more, and wrote about that here. I, if you haven't checked out this game at all, I highly recommend it. It is very well put together. Rasa could be awesome. Possibly. Not exactly sure what my plan is to make the Rasa awesome. Like, do I just chump attack? Do I just chump attack with this 1-1? One, one, let them block it and then Rasa away two things? Or do I just basically play these two things and like don't attack and then let them play stuff and try to block other things on the way back and next turn Rasa? I think my best plan is the chump attack. Okay, well. We fight for those who cannot. I know what that's my best plan. Eat up train. Um, no one goes hungry. Really hope they don't use a barrier here. No. All right, I guess I should have blocked with the lease, I guess. We must all make yeah. Yeah, of course. Of course not, so yeah, I'd love, love to. Alright, so that's um, Fearsome Midrange. Really, really disappointing. It 
not that like the deck was disappointing, but like the games were disappointing. I don't think our deck was like one four bad. It just, you know, things just didn't line up, and um, you know, we ran into some opponents running hot and things like that, and ran a little cold, and yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, the obviously the all of the um, nerfs of the deck has have definitely made it worse, but. Um, like Mark of the Isles didn't didn't really feel that great to be honest. Uh, plus two, plus two. It was it was okay, but it wasn't as spectacular as it had been in the past. Um, you know, I don't I don't know if that means that we're supposed to be replacing it or, or whatever. Um, yeah, but uh, oh, sometimes you win them, sometimes you lose them happens oh well, we'll move on to our next deck so those of y'all watching on youtube uh hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave a comment if there's uh something about the deck that you think uh needs to update or if there's something that uh that i'm missing that um you know there's like some replacement for for something um yeah feel free to leave a comment over there but thank you so much for watching some fearsome midrange and i'll see you for the next video